this idea of really leveraging your expertise. Mm-hmm. Um, I introduced you, and really, I think everyone introduces you as something to do with celebrity mm-hmm. because you wrote a book called Celebrity, mm-hmm. um, available on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that? I like that. Um, it's a great book. It's a great. It's an easy read, and you get to know you a little bit in the book, which I really like. Um, but but yeah, let's 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 spend some time talking about that. This idea sure. of leveraging. Sure, sure. I, I think first you have to have something to leverage. Yes. Right. You have to have an identity that's identifiable. Uh, you have to be known for something or be lost in the sea of everything. I'm kind of on a roll right now. These are some good little good. one-liners, I, I, aren't they? I, I committed that nuggets. one to memory, yeah. It's a Kofiism. <laughs> so, some Kofiisms are going to come yeah, out of this are. today. They really but, are. But no, truthfully, though, it's, it's especially in a market like ours, we're in an oversaturated industry, and the barriers to entry to get into real estate are, are low. Very. So there are a lot of real estate agents. There are a lot of part-time agents. Um, you know, In your geographic farm, in your area, in your demographic niche, you have to be known for something. Right. And creating that brand and then leveraging that brand to a level of visibility is something that, you know, I've worked a long time at, done a pretty good job at, mm-hmm. you know, continuing to build that uh, and always encourage other agents to do that. And that can be in the form of being an area expert, mm-hmm. um, being a certain type of demographic expert, um, something that you can own. That means knowing it inside now and, and also letting other people know that you know it inside. And how now. do you do that? How do you let other people know what you know? I think we're, we're in a day and age where it's become kind of easier than ever and mm-hmm. probably will get even easier because of social media. You know, you're able to even create your own platforms um, where you're sharing information, you're leveraging your skill set, you're, you're being a resource to others and even letting people know that you're the person to go to, even if they have a question that's not going to pay you any money. Right. 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 And, and sharing that information, they're so going to find an it, example it, of that. Give us an example sure. of a time when, you know, Somebody just reached out to you sure. and said, hey, Kofi, tell me about this. Sure. I'll, I'll give you a very specific example. Please. Uh, it was a business manager mm-hmm. who had a client who was in escrow in Arizona. And this is a business manager who I had already known for three, four years. And a business manager of an agent or a, a, a sports figure? Yes. Or? Okay. Yes. They represent um, a lot of athletes mm-hmm. and they're sort of on the business management side of things. And I'd known this gentleman for a while. He had a client. And I'd always told him, listen, if you ever have questions about real estate for any of your clients anywhere, I may not That's know good. all the laws, but I know the questions to ask. Mm-hmm. And I may be able to help you navigate through that transition or that transaction. And so sure enough, he called me and I gave him some key things to ask. And I said, you know, don't tell them that you talk to another agent and the agent said, because agents hate that. I hate that. <laughs> when my clients say, well, this other agent told me, I'm like, well, you didn't hire that other agent. But <laughs> nonetheless, I said, I can be, I can be the agent whisperer, right? There you go. Oh, that's another Kofi. Isn't <laughs> there it is right there. So I told them, you know, ask these questions. This will help move things forward. They did fast forward. The deal was able to close. I didn't make a single dollar from that. Right. Um, fast forward a year later, they had a client who was looking for a property in New York. Um, I referred them to an agent. Nothing came of it. Fast forward another year later. So now we're five, six years into this relationship. You know, two times where they've reached out to me asking for help. One time where, you know, it saved yep. their client. Um, and we were able to close on a very specific deal in New York, right? That was a four point, it was $4.4 million purchase. Wow. And I was able to collect a commission, you know, from that, right. from referring that business. And that was a long process of, you know, just being a resource to this person. And so for you, um, this idea of your specialty, right? Your mm-hmm. expertise mm-hmm. as it applies to real estate, sure, right? Tying in the way that people move through being, you know, celebrities, sure. sports figures, right? They just sort of work in a rarefied air, right? right? <clears throat> For someone else, right? When you meet people at parties or whatever, like what, what have you seen other than that type of expertise that's interesting to you, right? Because I think yeah. people generally don't look at themselves in the mirror and go, I'm great at this. Right. 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 I, I think the easiest way to express it is to really unpack the word expertise. Okay. Because I think we all know expertise when we see it or when we hear it. Mm -hmm. And it gets thrown around a lot. And a lot of people say, I'm an expert at this. I'm an expert at that. Then you meet the real expert. Uh, 
and you're like, holy, and yep. I won't say it. Don't do it. Because we promised we wouldn't we say didn't. it. We didn't. Yep. But we know what we're going to say right there. <laughs> we do. Right? <laughs> Bleep. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that recognition, that acknowledgement, that understanding of, wow, that was next level. Mm-hmm. That interpretation of the information was next level. That analysis was next level. That's true expertise. 